Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News and welcome back to another great video request. Now this video request comes to you, John. John Mar Martin? I'm sorry, John, that I killed your last name. But uh, uh, he commented on a Windows 8 make the F8 key work for safe mode. As you know, Microsoft removed the whole F8 uh, boot menu. For, uh, which allows you to do a uh, last known configuration, safe mode, uh, safe mode with networking, safe mode, safe mode without networking. They kind of removed that and they built this whole Metro-like uh, safe mode thing. But the only way that you could get it is if you're inside the Windows 8 environment. Now, John made a great point right here. Uh, he basically said the great, you know, it's a great way to enable FA key in order to select the safe modes. But you have to realize that most people go into safe mode when they are unable to enter Windows in normal mode. So uh, the point of this video is, is I'm going to show you guys how to enable F8 without going inside the Windows 8 desktop. Got it? So let's get started. So I'm going to minimize this again. I'm doing everything in a virtual environment and the reason why I'm doing a virtual environment is because I don't have so many machines to do all this testing for you guys. Uh, so the way that you could do this is if you guys have uh, the CD, a Windows 8 CD, you need to boot into it. So I'm going to mount the 8.1 CD within this virtual machine as you guys can see and you guys once you place that CD within your machine you want to start your machine up and you want to get into your boot menu now uh, a lot of machines nowadays I think it's F2 to get inside your bio setting uh, I guess I missed it so I'm gonna reset it again just gonna reset the machine again I need to get into my boot menu there it goes once you are inside your BIOS menu you want to go inside your boot menu and you want to change it up uh, you want your CD to boot first so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna change the order such as that and F10 to save and we're gonna press yes if everything goes well you're gonna get this notification that press any key to boot into your CD now I'm gonna go to my desktop like always I always have notes and these notes right here are gonna be placed at the bottom of the description so you guys who get a copy of it so let's get back into my virtual machine now the whole purpose of this is that you want to get into the repair mode of your machine. Once you get the window set up here, you're going to click on X and you want to pick repair your computer. Don't hit install now and then follow the prompts because it's going to wipe clean your machine and you're going to reinstall Windows 8 and then you get to just lose everything. So you want to do a repair your computer. Now you're probably saying, what happens if I don't have the CD? You can always download the ISO from a Windows Microsoft site. Download the ISO, burn into a DVD, use that. Again, it's a free download. The only way that you can actually authenticate it if you get a serial number, right? Just get a free 30-day trial CD, boot from it, get into this, and you want to get into the troubleshoot option, advanced options, and you want to do a command prompt. Yes, you want to do a command prompt. Now, I'm going to put this machine to the side right here, and I'm going to double click on my notes. And this is going to be provided for you guys. Now, on the last video, the one that John commented, he basically saw this, but I did this inside on the desktop environment. So I'm actually going to do this not inside the desktop environment. So I'm going to actually run this command. So it's going to be BC uh, D edit space forward slash sets wiggly bracket default wiggly bracket boot menu policy and legacy and we're gonna hit enter if everything goes well you should get the operation completed successfully awesome so I'm gonna make this a little bigger and I'm just gonna exit out and we are gonna turn off your PC or turn off your machine everything should be blacked out right now and we're gonna power on your machine and because I'm in a virtual machine so I'm constantly clicking so I could get into F8 and uh, I need to remove the CD so that's always a bad thing right so let's remove the CD from the machine uh, yep let's remove the CD from the machine and let's restart again and let's see if it gets into it 
there it goes. That's it, guys. That is how you get your FA back if you cannot get in your desktop environment. Okay. Uh, hopefully, this works out for you guys. If you guys have any questions, leave them at the bottom of the comment section. And uh, don't forget about uh, hitting me up at Twitter, uh, Facebook. Uh, all that information can be at the description part. So just hit me up on that so you could uh, get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software. And don't forget about hitting that like button and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.